keep getting viewers telling me, bring back my Whiskey with a Mate segment, particularly after I had that, uh, you know, reunion with Andrew Landy the other day. But uh, have you seen the price of whiskies these days? And they're going up again, like all spirits, because of another outrageous tax grab. I mean, Australia, it's excise duty and alcohol is already the world's highest and is now being hiked again to $100 per litre of alcohol. Can you believe that? Add GST and then every sip of whiskey or gin or whatever is your drink is payday for the tax man. Well, joining me is Laurel Warren, director of the Bellarine Distillery, makers of, uh, well, things like, uh, whiskies like uh, the Sea Eagle Single Malt, that I'm told that, uh, what is it, uh, Laurel's your, fa your bestseller, uh, Teddy in a Basket, did you say? And, uh, Teddy and the Fox, um, our first gin. Teddy in the Box. Teddy in the Box. Teddy in right. the Fox, well, named after, after our dog. For that. Yes. <laughs> okay, yep. the dog Teddy. I'm getting confused with speciesism yep. here. Uh, Laurel, uh, what is wrong with this syntax on drinkers? You know, drinkers really should be drinking water and juice or something, you know, uh, setting an example for the kids. What's wrong with the syntax on drinkers being this high? Well, I, uh, everything's wrong with it, really. Uh, we now rank as the third highest uh, excised country in the world. The only ones ahead of us are Norway and Iceland. And if you think about it, they live six months of the year in dark, so there's probably a good reason why they're trying to limit the amount of alcohol consumption. We certainly can't levy the same argument here in Australia. However, we're now at $100.05 for every litre of alcohol. Well, I don't, I don't really get it, you know, because um, we have got, and, and your, your distillery is only new on the landscape, but already, you know, doing very well. Uh, you look at Tasmania, look at some of the other distillers around the country. Uh, one in, uh, uh, what is it, uh, Chief or something, I've, I've gotten now, just here in, uh, yep, in Mornington Peninsula Trump, too. Yep. Uh, we're, this is an industry that's growing, getting huge rap, uh, raps in, in Europe, and we're putting taxes on it that are going to kill it. Uh, well, not kill it, but strangle it. Well, it's a, it's a strangulation, that's for sure. And it's, it's the pressure is getting tighter and tighter. We opened our distillery door uh, back in April 2018, uh, the whiskery. And in that six-year period to now, our excise rate has gone up by more than 21%. Now, if, if you said to anyone who... Uh, Ha, you know, they take a job today and they say, well, guess what, in the next six years, your uh, tax rate's going to go up by 21%. You wouldn't think there'd be outcry. It's, um, it's appalling. It is uh, one of the most punitive and archaic taxes in this country. And at the very least, we need to stop the six monthly increase because there's going to come a time where our industry will die uh, because we just will be taxed out of existence. It's such a shame, you know. We, like I say, the Australian whiskey industry has come from nowhere to being a real world beater. I mean, we've won a World Whiskey Award and all that. I'm just wondering, you know, do, do our taxes come anywhere near what applies in Scotland, the sort of home of whiskey? Uh, we're double it. They, they actually uh, are taxed at $50. Double it, yeah. Yeah. In America, it's well, about ten dollars. So we <laughs> we are at such a huge disadvantage in terms of competing internationally, let alone competing nationally. Yeah, but Lorella, what do you make of that argument, though? You know, um, you see the same thing on cigarettes, right? Oh, alcohol is bad for you. You know, it's like cigarettes, and um, you know, everyone will say, yeah, 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 we can't. We let, let's tax these drinkers. Um, I don't know. Is it really? It seems to me a little bit more sophisticated pleasure no. than that. It is. And in fact, the latest ABS data suggests that um, Australians are drinking considerably less, but what they are drinking is quality and better. Uh, and they're, they're trying to do as much as they can for our local uh, distillers. And, you know, we produce some fantastic quality products. I mean, we've been recognised internationally You've got people like Four Pillars uh, who have been, you know, highly acknowledged internationally. And um, you've got your whiskey, your Starwoods. I mean, 
these are all big players in the market, but there is absolutely no incentive for us now to keep trying to grow our market. We, um, you know, we well, started, the, when we started our distillery... You make a point there, there grow no the market, Lorella. You're saying grow the market. And that's the thing. If they want more money, wouldn't it make sense to encourage the business, more exports, more sales, you get your money that way, right? Uh, yeah, a, slow, a lower Absolutely. tax on more product, and that actually makes a lot more sense. Lorella Warren, thank you so much. I apologise for getting wrong thank your you. uh, terrific uh, best-selling fox, uh, a Teddy and the Fox gin. But uh, it's your whiskies I'll be coming around uh, to uh, purchase at some stage. Thank you so much for coming on the show.